Hi, this is Colin Abrams, and I want to talk briefly about the two main emotions that are found in the market. Fear is found on one end of the spectrum, and greed on the opposite end. So one way of assessing fear and greed is to look at the fear and greed index by CNN. Right now, at the time of this recording, we are in the state of a bear market where the price has been going down for some time. When fear reaches extreme levels, that's normally when we see some kind of market bottom. The mood of the market is extremely negative. It's fear and panic. The fundamentals are terrible. You're going to hear analysts on TV. Everything in the media is against buying. The natural inclination at a market bottom is to want to sell and dump all your positions. And that is where the smart money is buying. But it's the hardest time emotionally to be buying. Eventually it gets to a point up here where companies are just beating analyst forecasts. It's looking incredibly positive. Your mood will be euphoric, irrational exuberance, overconfidence, greed. People feel that the market is just never gonna come down. People are making so much money. In fact, the natural thing at that point is to wanna buy more. Now the smart money is doing exactly the opposite. This is where the smart money is busy selling. Now really what one wants to do is train oneself to act in the way opposite to what one would naturally feel or what the marketplace as a whole is naturally feeling. And that's why trading is not easy because it involves going against our natural inclination. Our brains are not wired to do that. Our brains are wired to do the exact opposite. They are wired to sell fear and to buy greed. The rule is you want to buy fear and you want to sell greed. When one gets those extreme readings, that's called a market setup. You wouldn't automatically go in and buy and sell at that time, but you would use some kind of further indication to tell you when to actually trigger you in. I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Bye for now.